what we did did take a huge amount of self-belief um, as I say the hotel was very run down and going into a completely different area that you're not connected with um, you do have to have a bit of leap of, leap of faith but it's very well having your own self-belief but you have to make sure that other people believe in you at the same time so the customer experience back then was not the most exciting um, the hotel was very run down and we spent um, a considerable amount of money on it to uh, to basically offer people something a little bit different within the 21st century. I'm not saying that you have to throw money at everything because even back then we didn't have any reputation but we were able to build on the fact that we were able to give a customer experience that was different to anywhere else um, because the, the hotel was very run down but people remembered that we were friendly and we were going out of our way to, to make sure that they had a good time. So the now experience that the customer has is one of um, a, higher, a higher quality and something that we're always developing on because we want to make sure that people come back. And we have a huge percentage of customers who are repeat or also recommend us. We don't get it right all the time, not everybody does, but we try and rectify whatever we can. So my development uh, comes from, from different sources. One of them in particular is the Business Environmental Partnership, which I am on the workshop for, and it's a, an open group for um, offering uh, business advice in, on environmental levels um, throughout the Highlands and Islands. So I'm very glad to be a part of that. Um, the Tourism Innovation Group is a group of like-minded people who've come together within the industry and we discuss climate change, innovation to do with kind of technology, website design and any other, anything else that is topical. So it's, um, it's a great forum to, to get everybody together and try and push the industry uh, forward because you know, you sometimes get a little bit cocooned in what you're doing and even though we've got our own business, we have to look at the wider picture and everybody needs to work together and this is um, a great opportunity to, to do that. Um, business initiatives um, are all around uh, Scotland and one of them that's close to me is uh, the Ford Augustus Business Initiative which is about kind of bringing all the businesses together and developing uh, a website to try and pull as many tourists to Loch Ness as we can. Uh, the Right Direction group is something that's very close to me. I was asked to become a director on that. There's now six of us on the group and we promote excellence within the Highlands. Uh, we put on events, um, tutorials, um, uh, we have a website that's on the go and we're, we're basically doing lots of different workshops with different sectors within hospitality. So we've now got a, a bed and breakfast sector and we're working on various other areas as well. And it is about openly sharing excellence within businesses because Nothing, nothing should be kept to yourself. Obviously, there's a couple of trade secrets because that, well, that's what makes you special. But in general, it is about openly sharing excellence. So we, we get a plateau of excellence within the Highlands and within Scotland in general. Um, something similar to what you're doing with the 100,000 Welcomes is um, our Dove project, which we've rolled out, and it will hopefully be going throughout um, uh, Aviemore and then hopefully further down the border. And it's all about customer feedback. And, and we are using handheld electronic PDAs to gather that feedback from all the customers who are coming to Scotland so that we have a wider picture on what customers' needs are, um, how, they're, how they're finding their experience within the Highlands and within Scotland in general. Is that done by the consumer? By the customers themselves? Or yeah, by yeah. We, we've gone to uh, various events. So there was um, the Highland Games in Inverness, um, the, the airport down at uh, Cairngorm Mountain. I had it with myself and we would just go d around into the town and just ask and anybody who was wandering around, go onto some of the boats, ask them what their experience was. <coughs> and we've now kind of tailored it so there's a lot more kind of questions that are specific to the Highlands in general. So we can get a you know, bigger pool of what people are looking for, what they found, have maybe been some weaknesses that we need to improve on. So um, the data that's been collected is exceptionally powerful. Um, develop, development from within, this is uh, from within my organisation. Um, I do look outside of the hotel, what other people are doing, but exceptionally important to me is to find out kind of um, who I'm working with and uh, what their thoughts are because they're the ones that are making my business tick. So uh, I did a development day uh, back in March 2007 to find out what my staff um, thought about their involvement within the hotel because I needed them to buy into the business because there was no point me having this huge vision and having various things that I wanted to implement if I didn't have their backing. Um, and there was various things that we, that we came up with. We wanted to make sure that anyone who was working at the hotel had five core values and if they didn't have those five core values then they couldn't work for us. So one of them was honesty, uh, one of them was team spirit, uh, we've got self-belief, commitment, and trust. 
And these, these five elements are, are, are what we, we live by and what we're trying to kind of build on um, to build the Lovett brand. Collective development, obviously, um, I've spoken about outside of the hotel, the industry, um, we do have our suppliers. There's loads of other people that are going to help yourself develop your product and your customer experience. And these are just um, a, a few of kind of uh, what goes with mine. Uh, so during our development day, what we worked out mm. was our, our mission, our promise, our aim, and also our vision. Um, our mission for the hotel was we wanted guests to come home to the Love It and our promise was for them to love it at the love it and our aim is to never say no and our vision is to come to Loch Ness for love at arms that's me um just, just about this basically you know Loch Ness is such an iconic uh, uh place of beauty and I know that a lot of people will have heard of that but obviously our vision is for people to come to Loch Ness for love at arms rather than the other way around um, Did you uh, run the hotel on oil before yeah. you put the wood chip boiler in? Yeah. Any idea how much you save? We save about a thousand pounds a month at the moment. A thousand pounds a month? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, oil's coming down a little bit, but I think it's roughly about seven seven p per kilowatt hour, and it's about two point four for wood. Yeah. So a considerable saving. Do you tell your visitors? Yeah, well, I mean, it, it, it's on our website mm -hmm. and it is on our um, confirmation information, a confirmation letter that we send out. Um, and it's in every, every bedroom has got information on, on how, how you can be a little bit greener um, at home or, or just, in, just in general and about what we do. I mean, the, the difficulty is, is it, it's a little bit of a fine line, so you don't want to ram it down people's throats. Mm -hmm. Um, so hopefully what we do is relatively subtle. So we have folders that are made out of recycled plastic that are in the bedrooms and they've got information in there about kind of what we do. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a huge um, a huge bonus, you know, having the wood chip boiler. When you network with your colleagues and through the organisation you mentioned, do you, do you, does it get discussed? Is there anybody who's taken... There's a lot of people who, who are doing it and yeah, there's a lot of... of yeah, uh, as a result of... Well, the fact that you've you sort of put one in, you've got... You can, other hoteliers can come and see it. Work. Yeah, there's a, there's a big hotel, um, Okrani, which is on the Isle of Arran, and yeah. they came to come and see me. Um, yeah. I mean, they've got a huge operation, um, and they're looking at, um, you know, ours is 100, 100 kilowatts, and they're looking for about 750. Mm -hmm. So it's huge. But they've got a couple of swimming pools that they need to look after, and um, it's, you know, it's a completely different operation. And there's a lot of uh, people... Well, we had, had quite a few case studies done, which has been great. Um, just raising the profile for it, and I know that Highland Wood Energy have been exceptionally busy. Um, it's fine for kind of new builds, and it's good for new installations, but I think where the potential difficulty is, is when people are just doing a little bit of an upgrade and then think it's a great idea, which it is, but um, there's a, a bit more to it. But the system that we've got is unique to us because we've got a computerised uh, program which operates from reception which means that we can monitor how the wood chip boiler is doing and we can make the bedrooms and the bathrooms and all the public rooms at diff different temperatures um, and they can come on at different times so if we don't use the breakfast room during the day then you only have it on maybe for half an hour in the morning so the savings that we're making are so much greater than what they used to be because it used to be um, um, uh, storage heaters and they're just an absolute nightmare and people have fiddled with them and, and whatever. But it's also tapping into people's needs because some people like their room cold or hot and, and it just a flick of a button. And you can say to them, oh, it's 19 degrees, what, do you want, what temperature do you want it at? You want it at 22 or whatever and you can alter it that way. And it's really, really efficient because you've got a consistent uh, run of hot water. We've got two big buffer tanks which, um, you know, which are there on tap to, to pump around the, the hotel.